I've never played this one. The day class. My name is Professor Adventure, and we're about to embark on a brand new journey called Math Missions. The Amazing Arcade Adventure, grades 3 to 5. I never played this one when I was little. I got it from a friend quite recently. Um, so let's hop right in and see what's in store for us. This is being played off a physical CD, so... I don't know what's going to happen. Well, it's by Scholastic, so that's a good sign right off the bat. I'm not getting any sound. I hope that's just a thing. Hyper... Hypnotics. Oh, there's some sound. Okay. Welcome to the special the city crap. of Delectable, the best metropolis that I could be. Welcome to my spectacle, a city most respectable. Things move so fast you just might need a break. Let's take a tour of my creation, the greatest city in the nation. I'm quite sure you'll be impressed to see the tallest building in the world. Oh, that's the rumor that I've heard. It's almost finished. Please stop rushing me. <laughs> Entertainment is a must. When you spend your time with us, we play the best arcade games that we could. <laughs> Our outdoor market can't be beat. There's so much yummy stuff to eat. It's natural, organic, mm-hmm, good. Ah, oh, fun banjos! Our are full and deep, but I have promises to keep. And nine more lines before I end this song. I've shown you everything we've got. Oops, I forgot Miss Kate a lot. Without her, everything would just go wrong. So please, won't you enjoy your stay and come again day after day? Your satisfaction is my guarantee. And when it's Crazy. time for your turn, I know you'll love how much you'll learn in your own spectacle city. Spectacle city. Here we are. What a welcome. Ah, I'm excited. Okay, here we go. What do we Hello got? Hello there. Let's get to know each other. All right. Type in your name. Name. This is always the hardest part. I have no idea how, how what name I should do. Hey, you still there? You know I what? Need to know your Let's name do some cross stuff. To work. Go ahead, type it in. We are Tonka Joe. I mean, back to the city. But... Let's do um. Tell me what level you want, and we can get started. Medium Click game. go to get started. All right, let's get started. Oh, thank goodness you're finally here. Uh, I'm Ava yeah. Lot. Deputy Mayor of Spectacle Angel. City. There's no time to waste, so here's the scoop. Kay. As you can see by all the dirt and mess around here, Spectacle City isn't doing so well. No. We're losing money because none of the clerks here are any good at math. It's oh, your job to help the clerks game. with their math, which will help the city make money. Math when missions. you help them, you'll earn money too. Okay. I'll be here to help you whenever you need me. All right. And that reminds me. I think Horton needs to see you about that. Oh, hello there. Hello, you Horton. must be Ada's new friend. Splendid. I understand you'll be spending some time in our fair city. Yes, so I wanted you to have this. Oh, thanks. Oops. I could really use a sandwich. That's not it. Oh. Oh, here we are. This is your apet. Remember apex. to feed it twice a day and take it for long walks oh, on clever. the beach. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm just joshing you. The, the apet is an electronic, uh, what's um, uh, who's it's that uh, does, uh, it, uh, well, does professor. something. Okay. Ada can explain it to you. Well, I think I'm all set. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. There he goes. And up he goes. Enjoy your stay. I shall return. That's a promise! All right. Kay. I think you're ready to get started. The a pet that Horton gave you is your direct link to me if you need some help or have any questions. Okay. The letters stand for Automated Personal Education Tutor. We'll call it a pet for short. <laughs> it's also useful for lots of other stuff besides talking to me. Okay. Hey, who's Spectacle that? City needs saving. I know you can do it. We're counting on you. Well, I will not let you down. Professor Venture hey. makes that promise. How typical. Who's they paint douche? a pretty portrait of this city, but nowhere did they mention me. 
Poor ignored Ma Randall Underling! Randall I'm the true Underling. founder of this city. Horton may have laid the groundwork, but I was the one who made it great. I gave it manholes. What's a city without manholes? Yeah. And so what if they were made out of paper mache? How was I supposed to know people would be walking and driving on them? When that old buffoon fired me, I was so sad I forgot how to laugh. Giggle. See? <laughs> but I'll show them. I'll show them all. Math expert or no, I'll make sure that this city fails. Randall Underling will make his presence known at last. Chuckle. Titter. Giggle. Laughter. Laughter! Laughter! Okay. Okay, are we in? Oh, where do we begin? Oh, can go a little bit left. Whoa, dude. Oh, hey, I'm Tab Lloyd. Wait. You want today's daily spectacle? Yeah, what's up? Hot off the presses for our new visitor. All right, cool. What do we got? Hey, daily spectacle. Spectacle. Can you just... Can Spectacle City be saved? Horton heads off to Netlands Unknown, finding Homer in the Country Fair, Randall caught littering, blah 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 blah. Thanks, dude. Alright, let's go into Megabytes. Ah, Megabytes. Clever. It's alive! It's cheese. Hello, it's welcome cheese. to Megabytes. My name is Ellie. Hey, LED Ellie. screen. Huh? Not only do I love <laughs> like this swanky I love electronic it. stuff, I love the puns but I in also this. design my own electronic equipment. In fact, I am nearing completion on a 400 gigahertz remote TCP network that allows users to connect to the internet through a piece of cheese. I've just entered the mild That's cheddar phase technology. of my research, VR, and so nothing. I cannot be bothered with charts and graphs nothing. at the moment. Cheese I'm sure you can handle it. Thanks for your help. Okay, what am I doing? I'm sorry, I was not paying attention. I'm going to okay, help to answer some important questions about the gizmos uh, uh, and gadgets uh, okay. we carry here at Megabytes. First, do this. choose a graph that will help you. Select your graph by clicking it once, and then clicking the Go button. Then, use the graph to answer the questions. Which graph will tell you how many movies Ron Berger made that are over two hours long? Which graph will tell you how many movies Ron Berger made that are over two hours long? Oh, let's see. Over two hours. Click on the A pet if you need help. Uh, well, I want to give this a shot for myself, so it wouldn't be the pie graph. That's not needed. DVD video. Uh, thousands, number of people. No, that's not it. Necessary action. Copies. It's not what I want. I think it's this one I want. Go. Your skills are impressive. Did I get it? Four more to go. What is the range of lengths of Ron Berger wow. movies in minutes? What is the range of lengths of Ron Berger's movies in minutes? What is the range of lengths? Oh no, I don't. I don't know what movie. No, that's not the one. I don't know what movie. A Paper Boys. The Paper Boys are robot. That's the movie. So. What range of lengths of Ron Berger's movies in minutes? What's the range of lengths? Do I need a different graph? Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Question mark here. What's the going on? The range of the data is the biggest value minus the smallest value. Read the values along the bottom of the line plot. Then subtract the smallest number from the largest number. That's the range. Okay. Okay, how do I put, put kitty cat away? This button? There we go. Okay, so... Length, uh, yeah, the length. So this is the range of lengths. So 120 minus 90. 
This is this is pretty intense. Um, what if I go? Can I choose a different you graph? Almost ah, completed graph. the circuit on that one. I sure hope you visit my site again. Oh, that's just to leave the building. Still got stuff to do. I just wanted to see if I could choose a different graph. All right, let's get back the in there. The user her. has returned. Yeah, I have. Let's reboot this last problem, shall we? Yes, thank I you. I believe it requires further input, if you please. It does. Okay. Yeah. So, we'll tell you what fraction of customers who buy digital cameras difference. buy them for work. Okay, which graph will tell you what fraction of customers who buy digital cameras buy them for work? That would probably be this one. That's the type of camera. Let's Click on the, the A-pad if you need help. Yeah, these ones are weights, so it'll be this one. Uh, go. Valid entry. Only three more to go. For what reason do people buy almost half the digital cameras sold in megabytes? Okay, for what reason do people buy almost half the digital sold in megabytes for work? So they almost buy half of these cameras for work. Go. You're like a super computer. So the ding is a good sound. Only two more to go. We learned something. What is the least common reason people buy digital cameras? For family events. I wasn't cheating. I would have figured the other one out. I just had to subtract 120 from 90. I just wanted to see all my options. Okay. So don't don't. Maybe the question will come back. You're making all the right connections. So for Only now, one more to go. Okay, one more. What is the probability that the next customer who purchases a digital camera will buy it to use for family events? So what is the probability that the next customer who purchases a digital camera buy it to use for family events? So unlikely. Not a very big part. Ah! Oh, look at all that money I'm getting. Five bucks! Hmm. Ah! Might want to unplug that yet. Math could be so electrifying. Oh. Great job in there. Yeah, Keep up the good work. Fine. Wait, that's it? Whoa, hi! What's up? What do you do? Aha! I am Mordavian the Magician. Mordavian. Watch closely and try to wrap your brain around the puzzling riddle I will ask you. Oh, goody. Rabbits are fast, turtles are slow. Make this magic wand of mine grow! Whoa! Now my wand is too big. I just added six inches to the end of my magic wand. How can Mordavian undo this magical mistake? I don't know if you want to. It is simple. Since subtracting is the opposite of adding, get your minds out of the gutter. Just subtract six inches now. Then my wand will be back to its original length. He just—he does make it easy, though. Good math reasoning. I completely missed what he said. He was talking about wands and. Yeah, sure. Yes, it is good math reasoning. Makes sense to me. Addition and subtraction are inverse operations. That means that one undoes the other. Yes. Addition undoes subtraction, and subtraction undoes addition. Okay, bye, Magic Frankie ba Big Doodle. Good luck with your wand. Get your minds out of the gutter. I know what you're all thinking, okay? I know you guys. You are definitely a supercomputer. All right. But I don't need any more help at the moment. Oh. Though I'd bet a gigabyte the other clerks need you. Okay. So we don't need to be in there right now. What else does this do? What's this? Look up a math word. What math word would you like to look up? Okay, that's useful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. L M N O P. There's a lot of math words. A vertex. Okay, so let's just do. Map of the city. So that's completed. So I just have to do downtown, the strip mall, outdoor market. What's this do? Nothing. 
I mean, what's that? Should probably talk to the girl. Well, I'm all out of time for this episode. I guess next time we'll be we'll be going into this 16 ways to save B. So, um, yeah, this is exciting. Very interesting game. Though, I think I might need a little bit of help on it. Just maybe bring someone along for the ride. So, until next time, class is dismissed! Who's it gonna be? Let's find out. Okay, I will do that. Alright, we gotta start with the dock. And the dock is gonna go... We haven't used a flashlight, so let's give our audience a quick look around of what everything is. Look at that. They're not even up there. They're like, I saw we get the fire.